here. The area that you think of is your, we call it the temple in America. Not temporal bone, but just the, your temple. Um, and do not confuse it with the skull. You look at the skull, and you see this big dip in here. And you can see cranial books from people that don't know what they're doing, showing all these techniques, grabbing around. You can't grab around there. It's full of stuff. Okay, I can't grab around that hook on you, but I can find that spot, and that's the greater wing of the sphenoid. So, if it's rising, if it is, if it is rising at the base of the sphenoid and the base of the occiput, what is happening to the greater wing of the sphenoid during flexion? It's going to. It's going. I don't know what that means. That dance you just did. <laughs> so tell me, is it going nice. anterior, inferior, superior, posterior, sideways? Posterior. Uh, Look at my thumbs. Look at where they are. When he goes into flexion, where are my thumbs going? Are they going outside? Outside. No, no, anterior. Let me give you all the choices. Okay. Inside. Here's all your choices: superior, inferior, medial, lateral, anterior, or posterior. Superior. 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 That's it. That's it. What is this way? Give me words for this way. No, no, no. You're doing it, but now give me the right words. My thumbs do that. Look at look at his head. My thumbs do that. It's inferior. That's it. You're doing the right thing. You're giving it different words. Okay. So if on the inside, if, if this is happening, if this is where the sphenoid and the occiput meet on the inside, then on the outside. The occiput is going down to the table, and the greater wing is going down to the feet. Okay, it's that motion. Mm -hmm. And these four points, it is this motion. That's flexion. Mm -hmm. That's extension. Mm -hmm. You get that idea? Because mm -hmm. it's going to get really complicated by the end of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. if, if you forget the, the nomenclature, the names of what we call things, it really won't matter. Mm -hmm. You can fix people without having the names in your head. Okay? So this skull is not really getting larger. It's just deforming. He's doing extension. He's going into flexion. And the same thing you can palpate at his feet. You're not going to see my hands move because it's on the order of less than less than half a millimeter. If you see my hands moving like this, this isn't flexion or extension. This is a crazy person. Sitting in the chair. When I used to call up the computer guy, because my computer's not working all the time, and I'd say, oh, What's the problem? And he would say, PB, how did he do it? He was giving an initial. PBKAC. What's wrong with my computer? PBKAC. Problem between keyboard and chair. <laughs> I'm the problem. <laughs> Most of my problems were PBA, whatever that was, PBAC, KAC. Okay, so the skull isn't getting bigger and, and, and softer. This is one way to do a vault hold. It's not what you're going to find in the books. What you find in the books is this. This is a nice way to do it. And the way we learned was, we were told, we want to palpate the greater wing of the sphenoid. We want to be able to palpate the occiput. And we don't want to affect, this is temporal bone. We want to be up here in the parietal bone. But this is impossible. I can't do it with my hands, the way my hands are. So I do it this way. I don't care how you do it, as long as you justify the anatomy and physiology and what it is you want to feel. I learned a lot of ways. You know, do it this way, or you know, you're wrong, and you're a bad person. Okay, and the founder of osteopathy didn't, um, we know that he didn't act that way. He said, if you can have do it a different way, and you know what it is you want to feel, you understand the anatomy and the physiology, you can do it any way that you want. From here, I can feel him just fine, and I can lay my fingers over here just fine. You just is it, isn't it that you're, you're told like this is mainly for the base of the cranium, for the sphenoid and occiput mainly, but the other hold, We'll take more information from almost all the vault balls. I agree with you. I, as much as I can, whenever I'm touching him, I will put as much of my, I will touch him with as much of me as I can, because mm -hmm. it's all information that comes to you. Mm -hmm. If the information that comes to you, you are not challenging it. 
You're not, you're not challenging it. Accepting. You're not trying to make it fit some story that Dr. Santa told you or someone else told you. You're just trying to hear this story. Mm -hmm. I could teach this to a child very easy to feel this rhythm because they believe in everything. They don't disbelieve in anything. Then we educate them to disbelieve in everything. Yes. And, and, and what they feel. And they don't challenge what they feel. Now, a couple of keys. This isn't the way I do it because this is, this is work for me. So I would have him side down a little bit towards your feet. Keep going, keep going. Okay? So I have my hands on the table when I'm doing this because you need to be completely relaxed. The only thing I will come is I will, if I I'll touch your hands like this. If I see your hand looks like it's tense, okay, your hand needs to be light. Mm -hmm. Some people talk, I've, uh, some people are teaching to do cranial that it needs to be um, five grams of pressure. Some people are saying two ounces. Um, these rules are um, crazy rules, okay? It just needs to be light. I can't possibly mention, measure what five grams is, and I don't know what two ounces is. I know this is pretty light. I'm not trying to change what I feel, I'm just trying to, there's, there's him physically, there's me, now we're gonna be one person, right? If I can borrow, um, I'll borrow Thayer, because I know Thayer really well. No, put your camera down. <laughs> no, if I am, see I can embarrass you because I'm my friend. So, um, if one of us is going to lead, I'm going to lead. You have to follow. Okay, in this situation. So if one of us is going to lead, it's just these, sub, it's these subtle motions where I, wherever it is I decide to go, he almost instantaneously can read me and follows me. It's a little bit like that. I, he's doing some dance. And I, I need to see where the dance is going. That's oh, okay. it. Before I can do any therapy, anything, I need to see where the dance is going. Okay. So now, we're done dancing. Okay. <laughs> now, just move slowly like this. Just move right like this. Just do this. Okay. Keep going. So in order for me to know how I'm going to correct something, the first thing I have to do is to find the lightest way that I can come into him without changing anything. And then from this spot, from here, then I can decide to change things, and I can have him move differently. I, I don't know if that example helps yes. you, but it is yes. the same yes. thing yes. as dancing. Yes. 